Janne, warmly welcome to Thank our you. brand new interview series called Inspiring Individuals at Hanken Business Lab. Excellent. Excellent idea. Great. And first of all, before we start off, congratulations on Thank becoming you. an honorary doctor at Hanken School of Economics. Thank you very much. It's a big honor and big day for me. Great. Uh, could we start learning a little bit about yourself and, and your relationship with Hanken? So I'm the mayor of Helsinki. You could also say that I'm the mayor of the city where Hanken is located. Uh, but I also have a other connection to Hanken. I'm a former student which never graduated, but uh, today a mayor of the city where the Hanken is located. Great. So multiple relationships and seeing the and inside. Certainly some other ones as well. Great. What do you think has led you to where you are today? What has been your recipe for success? I think part of the recipe is always hard job. Then I also think that curiosity is part of the story, that uh, you should uh, need to be curious. You also always need to like have a feeling that you don't know enough yet, that you want to learn something new, that you want to test something new, that you're also brave to, to give yourself a chance to do new things. Great, and that suits very well to a university environment where we're constantly searching and researching for new things. Definitely, definitely so. Maybe not during your very first years in, in the university, but, but later on, certainly. Mm -hmm. And building on that, uh, what do you think um, is the role of entrepreneurship for development? It has always been big, and I think it will be even bigger in the future. Uh, of course, there is a big amount of, you should, could say, like established business, uh, which of course stand for most of the jobs and, and maybe most of the turnover and, and value added in the world. But then we need to understand that the world always has have to go like forward. And there it is, it's mainly the, the I mean, huge, gigantic uh, global companies, as well as small, uh, agile, startups and small companies, which actually stand for most of the, the research and development and new ideas in the world. And uh, uh, I mean, of course, the world has to, to go forward and their entrepreneurship uh, is playing a crucial role. Right. So we have entrepreneurship in different phases of uh, company life cycles, uh, from startups to scale-ups to mature companies, and maybe even for universities and cities to be entrepreneurial in their own ways. Absolutely. I, I think that, of course, it depends on how you define entrepreneurship, but you could also define that as a mindset, mm -hmm. uh, like whatever your job is. And even if you are working within the public sector, I mean, the entrepreneurial mindset is, is key to, to, to all kind of development. And that's why I would actually talk more about a, 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 a mindset that a, than a like formal way of doing business. Excellent. So mindset, the entrepreneurial spirit, maybe? Even Definitely, like, yes. Uh, it's actually very close to my heart, even as the mayor of the city of Helsinki, because I think that, the, as the Americans say, that culture eats strategy for breakfast. So organizational culture is playing a, a bigger and bigger role. And the bigger the company or the, the institution is actually, the bigger role is, is for the mindset, uh, for, for the culture. And there we talk about things like being more agile, being more service oriented, uh, being a little bit more curious and so on. So actually we talk about internal entrepreneurship in all kinds of organizations and institutions. Great. Another key topic which is very essential for us here uh, has to do with entrepreneurship and sense of responsibility. What does responsibility mean for you? You can say that it means more or less everything. I mean, especially in a, a public service, uh, you are responsible for using the taxpayers' money in the best possible way. You are responsible for trying to find solutions which really benefit all the people, the whole society. But I also understand and I'm really glad about the fact that the, the sense of responsibility has become a 
strong and more important part also of, of the private sector way of thinking that that even if i mean traditionally you think that the main purpose for a, a private company is, is to create as much uh, economic value added and benefit for its owners but that's very old-fashioned way of thinking uh, it's still there i mean you you need to create some value added in in order to 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 keep the business running but then the, the ultimate purpose cannot only be to serve your owners but but to do something which benefits uh, the, the, the society around you and of course a little bit depending on, on how big business you are running uh, whether it's the local the national or even the global community excellent and a little bit like world economic forum has been talking about stakeholder capitalism since the 1970s. It's not only shareholder capitalism. It would be a rather lonely thing to be only the shareholders and not to have customers and not to have employees and people. So it's all the people together building. Uh, yeah, de definitely. Actually, I, before I became the mayor of Helsinki, I, I worked for two years for the European Investment Bank, which is the biggest public bank in the whole world. And uh, there I was responsible for, for what we call social responsibility. And uh, I'm really glad that the business world, the business society, especially in Europe, and I think that in a, a growing degree also uh, outside Europe, is like understanding that uh, uh, doing good business should also do some good for your society. But also, you could say the other way around, that doing good should also be a good business in, in order to have the the, the motivation to, to, to develop and make research and development of things which can actually ultimately even save the world. Excellent. Now oh, you are in a position of a leader today and uh, in a position of a leader work always with other people. Is there something that you would say you have learned with regards to eye for talent to find the right people at the right places? Uh, how do you spot talent and engage talent? I think it's not a cliche when people say that the biggest and most valuable resource each and every institution has is its own personnel, own people. And uh, I have understood and learned that it, it's crucial for the city or for the company or for whatsoever uh, to, to, to choose the right people. And there I have also learned to pay more attention and put more emphasis on, on like mindsets. Especially when you are recruiting, say, leaders, uh, higher management uh, uh, bosses. Uh, you could say that all the people who are able to find themselves in the last round are, you could say, um, well equipped, like equipped well enough in order to take care of that job from a formal point of view. Uh, and they, they see these are full of, I mean, mm, good things. But then finally, it's about your mindset. It's about the entrepreneurial mindset. And there is a, a huge difference between people with actually the same reference, same experience, uh, if one has a, a more curious, more forward-looking, more ambitious mindset than the other one. Very insightful comment. Thank you. Finally, um, if we would look at the next generation, next generation of students working out for building up their lives, what would be your words of wisdom uh, going forward? Every generation has to be a little bit wiser than the former one. Uh, and if you talk about next generation students, they have to understand that their teachers are actually representing the last generation. And, and all they have done during the last generation is not wrong, and there's certainly much you have to learn, but you have always, like, you, you need to understand that it's not good enough to understand what the last generation did right because you have to, to then build on that something new, because each and every generation has also to take the next step uh, forward. 
So it, it is, it's like a combination of understanding that uh, your history is relevant, uh, uh, all the, the learnings from the, the former generations may be valuable, and some of that is, 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 is of course valuable even in the future, but it's not good enough. Then you have to be innovative uh, in, in order to take the next step. Great. So listen to yourselves and be brave. Yes, forever. definitely. And, and listen to the last generation, uh, but not take that like it's granted that it's, it's, a, it's, there's much truth in what you hear and learn from your professors, but it's not the full story.